Morning, Libra, how are you doing? It's Dharma here to do your spread for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. If you were drawn to the title, um, my readings tend to last from reading to reading. Everything you need to know about the channel is in the box below. And you can find me on Instagram, dharmajane.8, at my website, dharmajane.com, or on uh, Facebook at The Raven's Nest. Okay, what do we have? Ten of Wands. So these cards are beautiful. This is the Tarot of Mystical, Tarot of Magical Moments, Mystical Moments. It's a beautiful burden to bear. It's almost like she is picking these flowers. She spent a lot of time cultivating right because when you go out and you make a garden you have to first get the ground ready then you have to plant the seeds and then you have to take care of it until so finally it does produce something it does but the entire act of getting from seed to harvest pluckable whatever is a long journey but the thing about the tens is that the tens are completion it's done and you are able to collect all of your seeds sown, right? It's just, I think that when people plant seeds or plant a garden, they see it looking one way, but the seeds grow how they will. And then there we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is fully actualized abundance. This is after the garden has been plucked, she's got, I don't know why I keep saying plucked, but maybe that's relevant. But they are, she does have an apple in her hand though. Temptation. And she's talking to a little birdie. A little birdie told me this or that, right? But the apple's in her hand. It's that moment when all of your other stuff is finally completed. You've already done all of the other battles. You've already gone through everything because that's the Ten of Wands. And then here you are now with this little birdie who lands right at your doorstep with this temptation. What are you doing? And she's all judgment. So... And the tower, judgment and the tower. This tower makes me a little nervous because it, the way she's clinging to it. <clears throat> and I'm just saying she, because this is she in the image. It doesn't have to be, you know, but she, the, this person is clinging to this tower. They don't want it to fall. But look, it's like the, the, these angels or this angelic whatever, your higher self, your own timeline of life has come in and they're like, this is, this portion is done. It's time to... I think what it is, is the entry with this little bird and this temptation right here. Because at first I'm like, oh my God, it's the tower, blah. But it's almost like it's the option to start a whole other garden. Right? She's been working with this one, dealing with this, and this is just like she just got done. Just laid down the burdens, just hit the completion point, like just, and then bam, hark here the angels freaking sing, really loud, really in your face, really up front, like I wanna talk about literally being swept off your feet. And it puts you in a two of swords place, like well, okay, nine of cups. Okay, okay, I feel like I just want to keep saying okay because they, it's a genie and a, 
Leather jacket. <laughs> and you're just like, all right, okay. Yay, yes. Fine. There's a lot of threes here. They may want to celebrate something. They might be like a very celebratory person. Let's get some fairies on this. This is the Brian Frouds Fairies Oracle. My OG deck. Okay. What do we have here? Oh. Blindsided. This is the thing. This tower moment. This is the thing that you could feel coming but you didn't know was coming. But you knew that it was but you didn't know what you knew that it was. That's called intuition. <laughs> here it is. Right? Oh my god. You knew that it was coming and the masculine was guided to the feminine by a series of uncanny events. And then we have a fresh start, good and the bad, bad and the good. This is someone who is like, okay. I think the reason that we're saying okay, 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 is because it is the pook that rolls in, right? This is just whoosh, this white light. It's good. All of this feels really good. The first thing I wanted to do was be scared, right? Because I'm like, oh my God, it's a tower moment. And when you look at how she's clinging to that, it is scary. I don't want to let that go because I know what that's like. I know exactly how hard this is. I know exactly what the garden's going to look like. I know how to do that. This is bigger. This is louder. This is fast moving. It's, it's, I'm afeared. <laughs> but it is this, it's the clean slate. It's the fresh start. It's the resolution to what it was that the universe heard you desire. And I want to talk about <clears throat> enter the, enter the guardian. They might have really, really blue eyes. Um, but they have a knowing. I heard about you. Immediately. They just know. They might be like a Romeo type character also. Whoops. <laughs> See, this is what you asked for. I heard it's what you asked for, but it's also what you need. So you may have asked for something specific and the universe gave you something better. Who that? Right? So that's standard. That is usually how that works out, is it not? And so they, I feel like sometime during this week, they are going to ask you to see them or visit or, or something. Adventure. Want to go on an adventure with me? Want to take this journey? And it, it's, it doesn't even have to be it's the it's the resolution it's the answer to your wishes it's the answer to the desire that you couldn't pinpoint right and here it is but and your guides are like merry christmas or whatever and then they're you're like i am afraid whoa I'm your, mm, and it does feel like, it feels very, very 
As soon as I saw that, I wanted, I, I don't know why I, suddenly I can't speak. And I feel really distracted. Murphy. It does feel like that. That's a hob jab. It's whenever I get this card, it, this, this card is the fairy's depiction of fucking anxiety. And that's exactly what happened as soon as I just picked these cards up. That's how I channel, you know. I just vibe with the energy. And it just sometimes makes me a little crazy. And this could be a job. It could be a person. It is some kind of thing that comes in for you that's sure about you. They're sure. They're sure. They might have Aquarius in their chart. But this is someone that you are speaking to currently. Or you will be. It's also the star. They could have been sent to heal you, something like that. So I'm saying your guys were like, just wait for it, right? But then it's also the bridge. You're, this, I just saw the word connecting. You will be or you are currently connecting with this person. It is another person. It's the resolution. It could be somebody that you're connecting with in order to do a thing, like if this is about a job for you. But for some of you, it's a person. And they're like a, <laughs> the genie in a leather jacket. As you wish. What have you. Whatever. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. So they, an island might be relevant. Like an actual island. But they could also be lonely like a not a lonely person but they are an islander meaning any of those things foreign estranged lonely separated whatever they are just i don't know why that's relevant solo they ride solo yes and wow. So it is, I want to be like, they are going to, I just want to keep saying they sweep you off your feet. They're going to sweep you off your feet. Look at all this fire and passion that comes along with this unexpected rendezvous right? That's the sun. This is solace. They might have a lot of heat about them. Like they might be a hot person, <laughs> but the sun could be relevant also. Oh my God, there it is again, the sun, the rider, they're going to come to you. They might do that. Or you might have to travel. See. They might also come bearing gifts. What's the rider here? It's the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, which is the action taker, but I also saw the devil in reverse. And I want to say something along the lines of I heard for once this isn't toxic. Didn't I say something about the white light coming in? It's all sun. It's all warmth. This is, this is sun energy. The sun gives. It's raw. It emits. The moon receives. This is like a masculine. Oh my God. That right there says divine masculine. They're coming in to give for once instead of take. But what's the Knight of Rods? That seems a little... I heard, I've been waiting for a girl like you. <laughs> they might have your picture. They might like, you might find out that they like got a picture of you and 
printed it out right away or something like that. Or they have it there, they're sold. Okay, so let's go talk about what you guys do. It does feel like a, maybe a, like a first encounter or a, you know, what have you. But this, they, they're they coming to sweep you off your feet. Oh my God, and then the Ace of Cups. They're coming to refill your cup, right? All right, so that is what I have for you for this week. We are gonna go ahead and unpack this further and I'm gonna dig deeper into other things that may go on for you um, throughout the, until the next reading, of course. Um, the link for that is in the box below. Take to my website, dharmajane.com and everything else you need to know is in there too okay don't forget to check us out every day for the lives we hang out and have a good time and then we hang out on facebook at the raven's nest the link for that's down there too okay join us over at my website and until next time have a good one bye leaves. <laughs>